Yo, tech man, what is good? Hey, brother. Bro, I know you see me, dog. I know you see me. Playing mind games when you saying things. Playing mind games, we both doing the same thing. Slide on the late night, you like to slide on the late night, you said the. It has been two weeks since I've uploaded to this channel. I don't know how everything is moving so fast. It's like I get into this mode where I'm like beast mode on YouTube and then I'm just like, eh, I don't want to upload. And that's just how it is, man. That's just how life is. I can't really be too consistent right now just because, yo, we, we out here almost done with school, looking forward to it. But I wanted to take you guys with today. Um, one thing that you guys really don't know is I've, I've been looking for a car for the longest time since... If you go way back when I, the car dealership wouldn't let me buy a car, I did that whole video about how I went to the dealership and really didn't give me any attention because I'm young and blah, blah, blah. People to blew it out of proportion. Got a lot of views, though. Got a lot of views, though. But, um, yeah, I've been looking for cars. I've been asking you guys for your opinions, and a lot of you have said, hey, man, check out the new the BMW M3, the BMW M4. I've looked at BMWs, and I'm just not a big fan. Ever since I was in Los Angeles, man, I just saw BMW after BMW. What I'm about to say is really hypocritical, okay? BMW after BMW. I didn't want a Mercedes because I felt like everyone had those two. And it's just, it's just repetitive. I wanted something that was different that you don't see very often, especially around here in Colorado. So, you know, one day I just looked up a Maserati. And it was the Ghibli. And I went and test drove it. It was the most amazing vehicle to me. It was just something different. And most people barely even know what a Maserati is. And it was, it was dope, but the only problem was the technology on the inside was kind of whack. Like, they're, they're lacking for the price that they want for that vehicle. So then, you know, I went and looked at Challengers again. Um, a very dope car, but, you know, just something that is cool. But I, I kind of want to be associated with luxury. You know how people are. They kind of judge you based on what you drive. And I'm a business major, so I want people to look at me in a, a more professional manner, kind of wonder what I do, even though I'm just a YouTuber. That's my job. So I decided to go to the Mercedes dealership. I checked out a few different cars um, on the lower end of the price, like 2014s for like $22,000. And uh, I didn't, I wasn't feeling them. And I got in one. I'm finally learning about these Mercedes. I see them a lot. I didn't, I didn't really want one until I got into this 250 Matic cream colored uh, beige interior. Yo, it was dope. And I really liked it. Let's just let's just put it there. And I kind of want to go get that car. So I'm gonna try to work those things out today and see how it goes. And I know some of you guys are probably like, oh man, why don't you get an AMG 43 C43 or AMG 6 C63? And it's like, bro, I don't I don't got money like that. So maybe one day. But you know, we got to start small. Um, you got to learn how to crawl before you walk. Type thing, you know. So come with me um hopefully the deal goes down if not one thing i've learned is it's all about patience the right car will come eventually but right now that's kind of the car i like so i'm here um i think this is the one that i want to get right in front of me so we're gonna go check it out and here it goes man yep this is it right here so this is the exact one that I want to get, <sighs> you know, post it up, thumbnail. I really like it, man. I think it's, it's super nice. This car right here, this one is ideal. This is the C63, obviously a little out of the price range, as you guys can see. Um, it currently goes for $87,000, um, a little out of my price range. Here's another one I was looking at, the AMG C43. Um, 69,000, but the interior, I can't really show you guys because, there you go, you can kind of see the interior. This car is dope. I also test drove this E250. Um, it kind of sucks because I can't show you guys. It's freezing out right now, but here's the other one. I really just like the CLA 250 because, you know, I just want like a compact car. Another one that I really liked is this right here. Again, it kind of has the upgraded wheels. I'm a little bit bigger. Why do you hate these shoes? Because they just make your foot look. They're the Ultra Boost. I had to bring my assistant along with me to uh, make an executive decision. Yeah. <laughs> uh, see that? C300 right there? 
So the cars that I drove, I drove this one and that one. That one right there. Which one? So that, this one right here. This car was originally like 80,000. This one? Yeah. And then and how you, much this is one it? over here. It's like 30. Hey, why do you keep going forward? Back up. Why don't you like that one? This one? Yeah. Why are you backing up so far? The car's right here. It's between these two. I can't see over there if I'm right across from it. Oh, well. It's trying to sell me on this one, big time. Why? I don't know. This is the one that he was, he was really trying to sell me on. I mean, this, this one's not bad. I like it, I drove it, and it's diesel. Um, this is the E250, E-Class. I think this is the blue tech. Yeah. So this is the blue tech. Um, oh yeah, that's why I didn't like it. It has 36,000 miles on it. It has 36,000 miles on it. Yeah. Still expensive too. 36. What do you think? Should I call him? What'd you say? I said don't wear those shoes ever again. I don't know why she's hating on my Ultra Boost. I'm gonna have it for a year. Probably. Yeah. Maybe two. Probably a year. I like. I don't know. Yeah, I do like the white. The only thing is, like, the interior. Like, are your seats still good? The beige. Man, did you guys miss a lot? I I bought a car. It's a Mercedes 300 C300, um, steel gray. It's it's dope, man. It's everything I could possibly want and more. Um, and I'll give you guys a car tour tomorrow. But yeah, I'm like, I'm so excited. I actually did a video. I went to car dealerships and they didn't acknowledge me. And uh, it got 773,000 views. And it was pretty crazy, but this was a good experience. Yeah. Well, I tried to, you know, my goal when I sell a vehicle, I never been in the car business before. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the uh, one moment. Page two. Oh, page two. How are you guys? Good. Uh, Congratulations. Uh, Tim Hardy Thank is you. our uh, sales director. Hi. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice pleasure. <laughs> you got a good one, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Cool yeah. I took a lot of time to find that one. I don't, yeah. get, I don't got your email. Do you think that you type it wrong? Y'all see that? Sold. Yeah. <laughs> All me. <laughs> One thing I want to show you guys. This is the gold car. Hopefully within like maybe like a year or two, three. I want this car. Like this is this is the dream car. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but you saw that. This is one of the cars that I picked up. I mean, that I wish that I could pick up. This is the Mercedes G63 AMG. It's all white, tinted. This thing is nasty, like, just check it out. How cold is this vehicle? The thing I like about it mostly is the seat. Like, I just love the interior that it has on it. Oh man, it just smells like leather. and I like just the little AMG hints that it has. This is fire. But, not yet. I should do some quick clickbait right now. But sticker price, 154000 I'm going to do clickbait for y'all. Just so you can see. Clickbait. Thanks for watching. So guys, it's, it's official. Huge shout out to Carlos. Thank you so much. Of course. This is the best salesman ever so if you guys want to come buy a car go to mercedes benz in loveland you want to tell them all your info i'm carlos rodriguez sanchez i will be here to help you guys whenever you need a mercedes benz sweet i, I wasn't expecting i'm so i'm so happy guys you have no idea i'll give you guys a full tour once it's all washed and clean and oh that's a wrap yeah alex um clark that is our financial guy he will talk to you about this too. so we're still here signing some paperwork i'm pretty hyped
good purchase. I bought this, not my mom. She's not signing for this. Don't y'all leave any comments like that. Yes, I still live at home. <laughs> but don't worry about it. I'll get a place soon. I'm still in college. Yeah. Thanks for coming yeah, in. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Enjoy it. Um, Everyone just dips. What's that? Everyone just dips out. Yeah, it's like a park. That's when they close. Thank you. All right. Good night, guys. Good night. See you in the morning. See ya. Okay. Guys, after all these hours, it's official. I'm now an owner of a Benz. I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. This was probably the greatest car buying experience I've ever had. The guys were amazing and just funny. Like, it was a good time. There's a lot of stuff that I didn't put on camera just because it was more of the business and personal but it was a lot of fun. You gonna let me in? Bro, I'm so excited, like, so we're not focused here, but I get, I'm gonna pick it up in the morning. Um, they're gonna wash it, detail it, do all that good stuff. But talk about customer service, man. I know it's a little dark and the quality of this vlog probably isn't that good. So I'm, I'm sorry about that, but I just got the bins, man. Yes. So guys, um, I wanted to end this vlog off properly. Uh, I would like for you to go and look at a video that's down below in the description. It'll be linked some here, somewhere around here. And it was the first time that I went to a dealership and basically they did not even show any interest or come up to me and ask me if I needed help or speak to me whatsoever compared to going to this dealership where everyone was so nice. The experience was amazing. Um, it didn't even feel like I was buying a car. It was more like just a lot of fun and they were even in the office with the owners and all them. I don't know if you know, but when you buy a car, you know, the, you get the salesman goes to the owner and the manager and blah, blah, blah. They discuss what they can do. They were in there watching my YouTube videos. So that just first off goes ahead and shows a lot. Um, this was just, this was just a great experience and, um, I'm truly grateful that I'm able to even buy a car like this and, um, hopefully, and this honestly just keeps me more motivated to want to put out content and, you know, just overall do my job. And I truly appreciate you guys for watching and kind of joining me on this journey. It's, it's been a lot of fun and this is super cool, but that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to end the vlog there. Uh, tomorrow I'll have a video go up either on this channel or on a sneaker life basically a vlog of the whole car I don't know you guys tell me do you want to see a, a vlog like a car tour or what should I do um, either way I'm gonna go pick up the car in the morning once it's detailed and everything is all finished and I'm also going to pick up the new Jordan 4s that come out tomorrow so that's gonna or technically today because you're gonna be watching this today so I'm gonna pick those up and just stay tuned for another vlog but this is your boy Mike thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one run it in the air now